Welcome to our Seaweed Picking Barn, a project that aims to improve seaweed production systems in Eastern Canada and reimagine community practices associated with this project. Our names are Arthur, Alice, and Angela, and we are a group of three master students all coming from both creative and scientific backgrounds. We are tackling Canada because its colder waters have a large influence on global oceanic currents and the region faces many issues, particularly when it comes to sea level rise and increases in acidity levels. And while the indus fishing industry is highly advanced, seaweed farming in Canada exists only as a cottage type industry. It is not formalized and is often perceived as challenging. We focused our research on Grand Manan Island in New Brunswick, particularly to tackle the dependency on salmon aquaculture. The cove we chose for our site has four existing salmon farms in a small radius. So we hope to use seaweed as an alternative that can sustainably regenerate the aquasphere and at the same time provide income to fishermen in the region. Looking at the current small practice of seaweed production, we devise an automated system that uses a module track system to extract seaweed without requiring people to enter the water. So instead of having long lines of seaweed, we're working on a two by three meter timber treated frames that optimize seaweed production. There is a track system that carries through to a small barn, transforming the steps required to grow and extract seaweed across the production train and providing a barn on land that will transform the process of seaweed harvesting into an enjoyable practice. Using digital simulations, we explored various cable options for a floating module looking to stabilize our proposal, as well as conducting a buoyancy test to ensure our design could withstand the weight of growing seaweed. One critical challenge for seaweed production in the Bay of Fundy are the high daily tides, making it hard for static seaweed lines to adjust to the tide. And so our system is designed in a way that can also adjust to the tide with two dynamic anchor points, as shown in the section here. Moving to the design of the barn, we took inspiration from local vernacular architecture, using wood as our main material. And overall, we hope to continue our research on improving the efficiency of the system, diving into details on feasibility and prototyping, and working on enacting and inspiring small scale but impactful social and environmental change for seaweed farming in the future. Thank you.